Welcome to the Amazon Lady YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about COVID-19, also known as coronavirus. It's become very serious. People are dying. And we want to address some concerns that people have about selling on Amazon, sourcing products from China, and what it will do for private label companies and also wholesalers and resellers in general. Yeah, the uh, World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global health emergency. Uh, and it's also become a global ec economic crisis. Uh, SARS back in 2003 accounted for a 40 billion drop in GDP. Wow, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, and the Amazon.com marketplace. Uh, you know, we've seen some uh, big hits recently. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, and and also we've also seen some increases. So it, it depends what reseller you are. Mm -hmm. if, uh, we, we've talked to a lot of private label companies and uh, and resellers, and those private labels said they're unable to get their shipments. Uh, they're having issues with major delays, or even some manufacturers aren't currently manufacturing. Mm -hmm. While we've also seen a spike for some wholesalers uh, for name brand products because of the fear that people have of going out and shopping. Yeah, and, and also 25% of Amazon sales are made up from Chinese sellers. Right. So there's a decrease in sales from them due to the quantity of product they can source. So it's allowing customers still want to buy on Amazon.com. So it's really allowing the customer to purchase other products from Amazon that maybe they wouldn't normally purchase. I mean, just think about how big that is. 25% of the resellers on Amazon.com are located in China. That doesn't even account for the huge amount of sellers that source their goods from China. Because of that, you're seeing a quick decrease in private label. Yeah. Yeah, the impact that COVID-19 is causing for these sellers is being felt on the marketplace. And there's major delays in products sourced from China by those sellers and by tens of thousands of U.S.-based sellers who source their private label products in China as well. We're actually in California right now. The first death occurred last night for a Californian uh, due to COVID-19. There's actually right now a cruise ship off the uh, Bay of San Francisco that can't dock because there might be uh, COVID-19 contaminants right now on that ship. So, I mean, we're, we're seeing it. We're seeing people wearing masks. We're seeing a decrease in, in Purell and hand sanitizers in the stores or a complete lack thereof. I mean, I was just on Target.com. You can't even buy hand sanitizer on Target. Yeah, which really opens up a huge opportunity. And, and you have an opportunity as a seller to make a decision, right? Because there is a lack of these products. So if you can source these products, you can in turn make a decent amount of money, right? But there's a right way to go about it. You don't want to price gouge these customers. You don't want to charge ridiculous prices. Amazon in the past week has removed over a million listings because resellers were A, either price gouging the customer or B, they were advertising in the Amazon listing that there was some sort of solution or some sort of um, prevention against COVID-19, which there is nothing. There, there's nothing as of right now. And we've had literally dozens, dozens of clients and dozens of Amazon sellers contacting us uh, because their listings have been suspended and even worse, some of their accounts have been suspended and they need to provide a 72 hour plan of action. Uh, and this is all because of the lack of awareness of how critical it is right now to handle these listings with so much caution and due diligence. Really review the listing, make sure other sellers aren't making any changes to the titles, any changes to descriptions or bullet points that might, like Eric said, uh, state incorrect facts of a cure or a treatment for COVID-19. Uh, this is not the case. You're lying to the customers, and Amazon will be forced to discipline you. I mean, if you've been watching the news, you see that uh, all over the media, they're talking about price gouging, and one of their main targets is discussing sellers on Amazon price gouging, and that's why Amazon has been forced to 
really restrict ASINs and forced to police these listings. So you need to be super careful before making that huge purchase. If you, if you can get those goods and source those goods, make sure that the ASINs, those listings that you're gonna be selling on are being handled correctly. And if there's any issues, right away, bring them to the attention of seller support so that way they can fix them and that listing isn't hurt and therefore your business isn't hurt by it being restricted. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's definitely, it opens up a lot of opportunity. It closes a lot of opportunity doors for other sellers. You know, Tianjin, Beijing, Shanghai, um, Gangzhou. Those are some of the largest cities that have some of the largest manufacturers located in China. So if your products are being produced in these cities, in these locations, then production may stop entirely or slow down. And it's really a case by case basis. So the original place of COVID-19 is in Wuhan, which is actually the headquarters for one of our own suppliers. And at this time, it's important more than ever to communicate with your manufacturer and make sure to constantly confirm dates for outgoing shipments and when you can source these products. Yeah, you really need to constantly confirm the dates for, um, you know, when is this product going to be produced and when's it going to be ready to be shipped? Let's say your manufacturer's handling, your supplier's handling the shipping, then you need to have those confirmation dates. And if they're not, then you need to pass on that information to your freight forwarder. And I suggest that right now you try to lock down quotes. Just in case the situation does get worse, there's going to be a spike and increase in pricing shipping those goods here. If you can lock down a quote for April now, if that's when your product's going to be coming, or in the next month or two, whenever your product is going to be produced and shipped, well, then you need to lock down those pricings now. Uh, just because you don't know, unfortunately, right now, we, do, we really don't know what tomorrow brings. I mean, that's really the nature of life itself. But in this time with what's happening, we really need to be even more vigilant and more precautious. So really, there's, there's solutions. There's always solutions to every problem. And we're solution-based people and a solution-based company. So we're always like, 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 what do we need to do to solve these problems? How can we capitalize on this situation? Um, not monetary-wise, but like, how can we make the most out of the situation? Improve on it. Yeah. yeah. So I would highly, number one, I would highly recommend to purchase larger quantity than usual in case there's circumstances to work. So if your order is in queue, I would contact your supplier and request a modification for adding additional quantities. So that's definitely first solution. Yeah, hopefully you went heavy on your order, you know, pre-Chinese New Year. So uh, the effects of the virus on your order and on your economical situation aren't negatively impacted. Uh, you know, this is a tragedy and it's spreading worldwide but you can always find manufacturers also in other countries outside of China. So you have to realize that that's not the only option for sourcing your goods. Matter of fact, Amazon Lit as a company, we don't source most of our goods from China. You know, uh, our private label, 80% of our private label brands are sourced outside of China. There's a lot of opportunity and maybe now this is the time to look elsewhere. Yeah, and also if you're just a reseller or a wholesaler or a retail arbitrage seller, then there's still tons of opportunities on everyday products that people are selling on Amazon consistently and that people are buying on Amazon consistently. So between making sure that you're purchasing, if you end up being able to place an order from your manufacturer in China, making sure that you purchase more than usual, and then Sebastian touched on sourcing products from other countries. That would be the second solution. And then the third solution, which I just touched on, was? The third solution would also be the freight forwarder. And lock down your shipping price. Lock it down now so that way you already have a confirmed ship price for when that product is ready. And that's about constantly communicating with your supplier and ensuring that your products will be produced on the day that they say it is. You want the worst case scenario. That's what we ask. Worst case scenario, when will this product be produced? So I can pass that information to my fleet forward. Yeah. So some of the products that are moving really fast on Amazon, but there's also a lot of issues with them on Amazon are N95 mask, Lysol, Purell, uh, hand sanitizers and wipes. Also other types of face masks, gloves, hazmat suits. Just the other day, I was looking at the top 100 products and tools in home improvement and 50 of them were face masks. 
Crazy. Top 100 in tools and home improvements, 50 are masks. Yeah. That's, nice. it's, it's insane. It's insane. And uh, it's, it really, you know, I, I, get, I get goosebumps because this is a time where here you are as a reseller and you have to realize you have an obligation. I mean, like we got in the business of helping others, uh, providing a service, you know? Yes, we are monetarily compensated for our services, but at the same time, it's providing a service. You know, it just might be that one small order that we're sending to somebody that gives them that safety net that they need to feel that they're protected at the moment. You know, whether it's those N95 masks or whether it's the accessories to combat COVID-19. And, and, and here's, here's your opportunity to do the right thing. And I promise you, as far as we've been in business, if we're doing the next right thing to help customers and we're a customer-centric business, we continue to thrive and to grow. Absolutely. So as always, if you have any questions, we're reachable through social media. Shoot us a DM, send us a private message. My arm hairs are burning. So I think we're gonna have to wrap this up. This wind is blowing, my arm's burning off. Sebastian's probably, he can't even smell anymore. All he smells is my burnt hair. So. I want to take this everywhere we go to prevent <laughs> prevent any bacteria from coming near us. As long as we're on fire, we'll be okay. Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you smash that notification button and stay lit.